Uh, what I do think it can do is provide side lane threats once again. LeBlanc and Nidalee can effectively work through side lanes. The biggest difference is Fnatic have more side of that trade, but he's got double biscuit, double pot. So I think he'll be able to sustain up in the near future. Oh, Jun now goes in. Alvro stunned up with the shadowing strike. Now Yoya coming in as well. Jun falling low and he's hit with a winter's bite. <laughs> uh, how did that happen? I know the hex flash came over the wall from Jun. And a half. The grub's now probably going to be started by Razor. No and Jun overstep. The root caller comes out, and Jun's life is forfeit. And his way into the brush and catch Fnatic off guard. Jun pays the price once more, and it's another kill in favor of MDK. Oscar though, Sets with the all out once again, but Mirwin has the pounce. Alright, I thought that he would try to get the kill there. Looks like he was just no, going back. No, no. Uh, lightning crash flash from Alvaro. Misses the Windows Piper, hits the auto attack. The stun comes down with the concussive blows. Humanoids here behind them should be able to get at least one. He's going to be stunned up immediately, though. Super still has the cleanse, but you can't cleanse a buster shot. A rocket to the back will send anyone packing. Humanoid flashing forward, looking for more. Alvaro needs the damage. I mean, it probably will. Yep. I see Razork walking towards it. Yeah, I, th I mean, this is absolute cinema. Like, there's no way Razork gets in here to steal this away. Humanoid is going to jump on for Scary to put some damage down. The Drake to Alioria here. Alioria has, still has the flash, and that was... Um, it's going to cost them. It's going to cost them a lot. Alvaro's here for the flank. Glacial Fisher goes down. Razork able to get away from it with his flash of his own, but Jordan doesn't have that same liberty. MDK will take right, him out. For the yeah. yeah, it's the mid lane lead for Humanoid. Super has the lead in the bot lane. Lightning Crash coming out from Noah. The minion tanks a couple of his auto attacks. He's looking for more. Jun is hit. And okay, perhaps Noah might be able to build a little bit of a lead, but Jun takes the kill in the end. Still and three minutes. Yeah, and again, oh, it's, again, Fnatic kind of just staring as this objective gets taken. They do push in mid and at least look like they're going to be able to connect. Just the heal to get that extra bit of movement speed. Razork in a bit of danger. That's it very close to proking. The roof doesn't quite connect. Top tower goes in favor of MDK as the bot lane is likely to be traded by humanoids. It's weird though. Like you could have just had first guy TP down to the bottom side to defend that, and you would have been in a fine spot. So you just end up a terror up. But instead, they kind of down. Mirwin just keeping Jun very busy. Noah and Razor trying to defend the turret, but they need to get out of there. With the Rift Tower charging in and Daisy following suit. The tower in mid falls. MDK get their second of the game. However, Humanoid will answer with one in top side. Nice play from MDK, though. Could you like this second break? Mirwin's in the pit. There's the TP behind. Noah jumps across with the blast cone. Jun is on the wrong side of the wall. The rest of his team down in the river right now. Frescawi spotted with that Scryer's Bloom. The dragon down to 4,000. Frescawi still looking for the flank, but it's only onto Oscar Rin. In path maker comes out. Glacial Fisher, the Magnus Storm, but they can't go in because the, or, the Braum ultimate locks him in place. Strangled Thorns coming out as well. The lightning crash from Noah. Merwin dashes in, flashes out. Chris Gowie's trying try to still get in from the side. And I think Fnatic will walk away wounded, but Scowie can look for more. Oscar left to his own devices on the front line. MDK might want a little bit more out of this play. MDK playing so well around their poke, and they're going to keep this up as Fnatic tried to retreat to the tower, but is that actually safety? The okay, dance from is. MDK is so exquisite as they play so patiently. MDK, they don't want to ruin it now. Fnatic are looking for something. They know they have to push forward rather than go back. Mirwin, no flash, remember, and Humano just walks him down. The Ignite taking the buster shot. Super kills him. The dash in from Jun is blocked by the Unbreakable. And Fnatic went forward, but the only place they're going is back to the fountain. I think it's now in a position where MDK have control hey, of the map. They're trying look to get a vision is tough. Noah. Dashes across the wall is rooted for Scowie going back in. And Alvaro Humanoid will take a tier two for this. But MDK will have three minutes with a Baron buff to find everything they can. Baron secured. Alvaro. Fnatic looked for something, but all they found was that they were one. And uh, it's working out beautifully. Remember that the Braum applies the passive to Ezreal, can land his Q, start stacking that passive. Like, they have so many tools to just be annoying. And Fnatic don't really have many answers, even if you engage on Jun. Like, what is your play? You don't have a wombo combo. You have 280 carries. Yeah. Like, they want to kind of play this front-to-back style, but you don't really have a proper composition that sets you up. Trading two tier twos for a single one for Fnatic, which means he continues to extend. For Scowie going in on Humanoid, who is only sitting on Navori. Sorry, their base anyway. 
MDK don't have an easy avenue to uh, actually force a fight, unless, you know, Fnatic overstep as the Stranglethorns come down onto Elioia. Oscar looking for a little bit more Humanoid dumping in. The Unbreakable from Alvaro will save Elioia, but the Lightning Crash will find its mark. Magnus Storm into the Blast Cone, knocks Jun over the wall, the All Out on the Super! Oh my god! Fnatic could have sat and waited, but instead they decided now is the time to strike, and MDK have lost three. Mirwin trying to get away. He's distracting from Viscawi, but Razog knows he's there. Viscawi has to dash away, no mana left on him. Mirwin might escape down towards the bottom side. Viscawi dances back, but there's a plant waiting for him in the bush. Avina's fly trap, perhaps, as Viscawi's caught. Kinder has tried, and if they can just find one moment like this, it could be a super unbreakable down for Scowie going to Razzle though. The chains only hit onto Junk. Glacial Fish is just short. Humanoid opening up on Mirwin. Oscar finds one. Elioia's caught out. Jun looking for that Magnet Storm. Super able to dash away from River Alvo. Does not have that same luxury. Super caught as well. And Fnatic immediately find the fight. You can't hit what you can't see, and Fnatic are continuously just playing around these little choke points, finding those moments, and Razor. Getting that lock up onto Super, it looked a little bit sketchy. Say, yeah, there's no initial follow up. It gets some of those spells out. It gets the arcane shift out. It gets the unbreak. Specifically against Ezreal. You don't have the damage to take him down. Mirren doesn't have the damage to take him down. Mirren might get taken down, though. Yeah, he does have the flash. Fiskawi coming to join the party. Humanoid Ooh. with a double buster. Call him Keaton because he's Round bustering two. all over them. Humanoid's going to try and heal up. Fiskawi's down to half HP. Mirren about the same. The chains land once again. Fiskawi's clone is forced out. Mirwin has an explosion I mean, shot on him, look at the bot side. Yeah, he, no, but Humanoid can just delay. Just Who cares? Game. The bot the side is winning. <laughs> Viscawi dives in, they have to get back. The TP's invested immediately. Initial poke, and you got the locket in case he underestimates or overestimates how much damage MDK can do. They call him Oscar winning for a reason. The TP comes in from Humanoid. Fiskawi dashes in, puts a bit of damage onto Jun. Alvo has to pop the Unbreakable early to try and keep this turret alive, but it's not going to be standing for too much longer. The Baron expiring in four seconds' time. Humanoid opens up on Super. Alvo goes in with the Winter's Bite. Glacial Fisher. Fiskawi has a good flank. Dashes in twice and takes out Humanoid, who kills Oscar Inning. You don't need to. Jun and Humanoid are down. Now it's up to Razzle, Noah, and Oscar Inning to try and get out, but Noah. Oh. The shield just in time. Alvo going forward once again. Oscar Inan sacrifices himself for the good of the team, but MDK have other plans. Noah down. The shutdown to Super. It's a alive, and only Razzle left means that they're looking to try and potentially end. Vescawi will come in with full life, full mana, and a full heart as MDK look to even out the series. How the hell did that just happen? For Scowy with the flank once again, he finds his avenue onto the back line. He shuts down Humanoid. They've set their sights on the Nexus. Jun is back. There aren't many minions left. Humanoid's up in eight seconds time. If Jun can kill a couple of these minions, maybe he can hold on to hope. He tries to take one. Concussive blows will slow him. There's still one minion there, and that's all MDK needed. Humanoid jumps in, but he can do nothing in the face of five mad lions. We're going to game five.